Hi everyone, thank you for uh, coming here today and, and see our uh, demo of Unity using the Angry Bots demo that we have done for you. So uh, what we want you to uh, learn out of this uh, demo is um, how to install uh, the Angry Bot inside of Unity and then look go through some of the prefabs that we have and then go into our uh, management platform and see how we can manage some of the content that, that, that is getting low by our services. So um, again, thank you for uh, being part of this. And um, first thing first, we have to go on GitHub and go into our PlayFab repo. We're going to find other uh, cool content in there. I invite you to explore it. So what we're looking for right now is the Unity PlayFab underscore AngryBot. And um, so we're just gonna copy the, um, the git file and um, and start or uh, clone. So I'm using git bash uh, to do this. And you could use uh, about any other kind of uh, um, of tools uh, to make it happen. Either source tree that is free and, and so on. Um, just using command line so that it's easier for everyone to understand and uh, uh, for the Mac people as well um, that are using uh, Unity. Um, so that's it already. What we can do is uh, while this is downloading, uh, we could go and see how uh, we're going to um, make this happen inside of Unity. So what I, what I suggest to you to do is um, uh, click on your uh, Unity icon and press Ctrl, Alt and left click, which will open the pop up to open a new project. So from there, uh, we can go right away into the folder that I'm uh, opening right now and creating okay now it's done so we see demo play fab get up uh, demo play fab get up and uh, and then the name of our repo so it's all there so I'm going to select this folder and um, then unity will do the job of um, uh, importing the asset compiling everything and making sure that the, the game can can run so um, I'm just going to skip this part there because it takes a little bit of time while I'm recording and all of this process happening inside of uh, Unity. Okay, so now Unity finished to compile and uh, load all of the different assets of the demo. Um, so let's see what we have. So first we have a new button. So it's the PlayFab button. Uh, from there you can access the dashboard or the admin panel for your game inside of PlayFab. Uh, so we can click on it and it gets us right away to the get in sign in form. So, uh, so if you are not registered yet, you can just uh, click on get started and fill out the form. It costs nothing. There's no fee, and uh, you can start using PlayFab uh, for free. Uh, yeah. So, um, what else do we have here? We have also the game config. So this panel uh, that just uh, popped here on the right uh, is where you want to put your title ID. So the title ID is uh, once you have um, created your game, uh, it's it's what you find in the query string. So you just copy paste the detail from the window into your uh, PlayFab config panel, and then you can start uh, accessing your own data into your own uh, game title. Uh, that said, we have uh, we work with the catalog version inside of. Uh, PlayFab, so each of the catalog can be associated with a different set of items that you can load and uh, adjust from the game. Or uh, you can also go through the management panel inside of the dashboard uh, on playfab.com to adjust uh, and see those items. So first, um, let's press play on the scene and see what we have. Uh, but first, what we would like to do is go in the build settings and put the scenes that we need to make this um, uh, this demo work. So the scenes are in PlayFab, Angry Bots, and then Scene. So uh, you just have to select all of them and drop them inside of the build setting window, and then you're set. That's the only manual part you have to do to uh, make this demo work. So first, make sure that you have the start scene loaded and from there you go into your game view and press play and the login appear uh, you can either register if you want to create a new user uh, just for the sake of it or uh, you can log in with your own so for my user it's mark val and um, just have to log it in and now the scene is going to load and i'm in 
So uh, what just happened there is um, uh, the PlayFab services was contacted to, uh, to, to verify if I was having a valid username, valid password, and, um, and then I could actually uh, log in. And then um, after that, the, the virus services was uh, loaded. So the services that were contacted is my inventory, which represent my uh, current uh, money amount that I have, uh, the virus item I have in my inventory, and um, then also the uh, what, what I can buy from the menu from the market menu, and also the news uh, that is part of um, of this uh, of this title. So all of this is editable through the dashboard. And uh, first, um, uh, let's do some transaction. So as you're seeing, I don't have uh, I don't have any any bullet on this on this gun uh, except the big one. So um, uh, so we've created two more custom gu gun inside of the uh, Angry Bot demo, just uh, for having something to buy. And um, so those are like one shot kill. Um, at the same time, every time that I'm, I'm firing, uh, it keeps the, the, the action offline, and then 15 seconds after that, it's going to sync it with the, uh, with the API services for consumable. Uh, that said, it can be made at every event, so, uh, so you don't have to wait or anything. This was just uh, customly made for those uh, bullets. Uh, so that said, let's buy some uh, burst ammo. So I'm going to buy just one pack of 400. So what happened here, it validates that I have enough money in the back end, and if so, then yes, I can buy it. And, uh, and then subtracts the amount of money requested for this package and uh, update my inventory. So I'm just going to fire a few more ammo. All right. So now I have like an uneven amount, so I'm 383. And I'm going to pause the game. Um, so let's go see what happened in the dashboard itself. Um, so I can find users inside of the dashboard uh, using the uh, user uh, button. So I'm going to go in, uh, find a user, and that would be myself. And I'm going to press enter. Put the window a little bit higher. There we go, it's coming. All right. So now I have my, uh, my profile that just appeared. Um, so I don't have any real money spent or anything like that. And... Uh, um, all right. So and, and and then I can see when I was logging last time and all the various information that are relevant to this user, uh, which is myself right now. So um, let's go see the items and see what happened. So uh, earlier, what I've done is I've bought more ammo pack and then uh, depleted them, so I don't have any more uh, of these uh, of these item consumable. And now here we have those uh, 400 uh, ammo pack. And then uh, the number of views uh, that is left. So now I'm just going to let the game run a little bit. And shoot a little bit more. And then I can refresh my, uh, my view. And then you can see it's the 383 that was, uh, that was back. What we can see is um, uh, the catalog. So those were the package that we're seeing inside of uh, the demo as it was running. So we can see the price and uh, how many uh, use there is per consumable and their name. And those are uh, editable right away from the dashboard uh, using the JSON format we have here. We're going to add soon uh, the function to edit them right away from uh, the dashboard itself, so it's going to be much more handy. Um, and uh, what else we can find here is the news that we were saying earlier. Uh, they're in fact manageable from here again. So uh, if we want to change the content of it, if you have like some HTML renderer inside of your viewer, uh, if you are using Unity as an engine or using uh, Unreal or whatnot, well, you can uh, make your own assessment of what are your uh, variables to show uh, the virus HTML properties. Uh, but as I said, you can uh, unpublish or uh, remove completely a news or make a new one uh, right away from this um, from this menu. So it's really handy. 
And then you have the title data itself. So uh, all the rollovers that we have in a game, uh, the text is coming from here. So if you want to uh, have localization or if you want to add more specific uh, uh, parameters coming from your uh, from your backend, you can do it using the title but data. If you go in currencies, uh, this is the game currency that I'm that I'm using. I call it, my code is GC. So every time that a user uh, logs in the game for the first time, there will be an initial uh, deposit of a thousand virtual currency. Uh, you can edit this from the edit button, and uh, then you can make it more or less, and uh, that is really straightforward. Um, so that's it. If I find uh, myself as a user again, uh, I can do other operation on uh, on my uh, account. So I can, for example, uh, add myself more money. So um, so that is doable from here, and then you just have to type the reason. And then it's going to be updated uh, right away in the game. And uh, you can kick people out. You can see when were their last logins and where, where, what was the IP and uh, uh, what they have, you know, what we have done as a user. And um, so that gets uh, that gets uh, handy as uh, for support. So one of the handy situation, as I was saying earlier, is to use the keep session key. Uh, so as you're seeing earlier, we were in the start scene, so we had to log in. Uh, but for example, if you don't want to log in every single time, um, by keeping the session key, it will make it available to uh, reuse it as many times as possible um, so that it's uh, easier to, for you to develop inside of the game. And uh, also, you could totally make a game that you log in or register one time and then, and then it's done and just, you know... Uh, with some logic, you can find out when when you need to um, re reset that session, but it's entirely your uh, decision. Uh, so that said, when we have more, let's press pause here. So we have. So what you're finding also part of every scenes is the playfab game object that contains the prefabs, and uh, those prefabs, if we uh, play the game are totally uh, um, um, acting as normal prefab so that you can um, you know have fun with the variables variable that is in here and um, and make it uh, interactive a little bit so it was just to help you and get you up and running as quickly as possible um, and so that you can have fun with it and as I was saying earlier this is the text that was part of the title data and um, yeah, I hope, I hope that you guys are going to have fun uh, with this demo. And um, if you have any suggestions or things you would like to see, um, well, feel free to email me. It's mark at, mar at uh, playfab.com. So mark at playfab.com. Um, my next one will be with the uh, Photon server. So I'm, I will either do a PvP or a co-op game so that people can join the same room. And, uh, and then you can see what you can do with PlayFab and Photon uh, all together. So um, I hope you like it, and uh, thank you again for listening.